I did when I did it, I was about ready to leave. I said, here you go, Pastor, be sure to take them down to pizza. I got to go. So I started leaving the church. And I was walking out. And it was kind of like this right here. I had to go past all the saints that stayed in their seat and was just looking with disgust at what was going on. And I heard their voices as I began to leave. Who does he think he is? Why is he interrupting our service with those kind of people? What does he think he's doing? Oh, I can't believe that. Man, then I started to hear people like growling and stuff. And I was like, man, I gotta get out of this place or somebody kill me. And I said that to say this. We gotta start loving backsliders. Our churches should be filled with people that want to get back to God. And every time they walk in our church, they gotta look at our nasty snarls, our, our ungodly attitudes toward the sin that they have. If we're ever gonna reach our city, we're gonna have to throw the red carpet out for the backsliders. We're gonna have to welcome people back in our church and love them back into the church like they belong in that life. So I, I struggled and struggled and struggled. I want to come back to church. I want to come back to church. And, and I didn't want to go back there because I was so frustrated with the way people treated me. So I was hungry for God. I went on the internet and a guy named Paul Mooney from Indianapolis, Indiana. Yes. He had a web broadcast where nobody else did back in those days. And every week he would broadcast a service. So I got on the internet. I was faithful. I was number one saint in, in the web broadcast. I'd watch that thing and I would start getting faith. And for two years, I began to get faith to be able to say, I'm coming back. Finally, one Sunday, I said, you know what? I'm not going to watch the broadcast. I'm going back to that church. I don't care how they treat me. I don't care what they say. I went to that church, sit down in the back row, and I began to listen to the word of God. And all of a sudden, the pastor began to say, come on, you can make it. I believe in you tonight. And he said, if you want to get renewed in the Holy Ghost, come on up to the front. I marched up to the front. This time, it seemed like it took forever. I got down on my knees. I began to cry out to God. I said, Lord, I've failed you so many times. I just want to get back in the church, Lord. And God began to fill me again with the Holy Ghost. I stood to my feet and shouted for just a while. I said, thank you, God, that you would love me enough to be in this house. I remember when I got up, though, I said, Lord, I'm not coming back to church just to be a pew warm. All right, all right. All right. I want to be a teacher or a Sunday school any of that. I'm not coming back to be someone that's a youth leader. Lord, I'm coming back and I'm promising you I want to be the greatest soul winner the that's world has ever right. known. I said, that's my mission in life. And I ain't got wrong if I say that. But that's my desire. I want to be the greatest soul winner the world has ever known. And you know, when I left that place that day, I've never stopped trying. I've never stopped desiring. Every single day of my life, i got to win somebody. i got to reach somebody because hell is real and heaven is real as well. We ain't got much time left, church. We don't have time to go to church with about us all the time. we got more conferences than we can conference us we got to get back to the streets where God has a purpose in our lives. Whatever happens in the souls. Why don't we have, why don't we have soul winning conferences anyway? You know why? Because there's nobody winning those souls. Look at this room right here now. 15 people in this room. We ought to be ashamed of our purpose in God. Amen. 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 Come on, Pastor. Come on, help us. Kill the golden calf. Kill it. I picked up this book by Charles Spurgeon. I remember taking that book home and I was hungry. I want to learn about soul winning. I want to be a great soul winner. I took that book home and I read this quote in it. He said this word. He said, have you no wish for others to be saved? Then you are not saved yourself. Right. You sure 